what we're really starting to see is a lot of diseases pop up. Uh, we've had um, almost ideal conditions for, for a lot of different diseases. Uh, southern rust has definitely been popping up in a lot of places. It's here in this field, uh, standing in right now. Here's an example of it, actually, that it can hold up. Um, great leaf spot is also uh, popping up. We've had excellent uh, weather for great leaf spot. Um, and northern corn leaf blight is also out there too. I've definitely seen northern corn leaf blight in some fields. And not to forget about tar spots. Uh, tar spots definitely out there in place. I've seen it on leaves, um, but we haven't really had quite the environment yet to really make it take off, but that can change. Um, if the weather turns cool and wet, I think we definitely need to keep an eye on the tar spot. But for now, I think we need to not just be focused on tar spot and all these other diseases that are present here. I think we really need to be on top of them. And the way to do that, uh, this corn is just a little maybe past an ideal timing for a, a fungicide application of a Miravis Neo or a Tribopro, but we want to time those at uh, a BT uh, R1. Um, and get those on there and not wait to see disease just make that part of our overall agronomic plan and the reason we do this timing is to protect this ear leaf and above and this is going to be the the factory if you will that produces the energy and uh, that's the part we want to keep healthy throughout the remainder of the growing season uh, to help fill out those ears and and to my yield the soybean season you know in a lot of places or at least where i've been uh they, they kind of got off to a slow start we're starting to wonder if they were ever going to canopy but uh you know right now they're um locally here in in central iowa they're looking uh really well um but what we do continue to to see with soybeans is um just the challenges with weed control and having to go back to three you know at worst case sometimes a fourth pass just to get on top of the the water hemp uh, primarily that just continues to, to put pressure on and the best way we can get ahead of that is to use a strong uh, pre-herbicide at a strong rate like Tendolbo or, or Boundary, get multiple effective modes of action in the soil. And then we go back with that post-pass, um, add residual to that post-pass like a dual magnum. Um, and, and then use multiple modes of action um, in that post-pass too for post-control and, and not to just um, maybe rely on one. So add a tank mix partner. Um, to give that second uh, mode of action and so we're not putting all that post-selection pressure on one active ingredient. Mm -hmm.